After a lot of barking among city councilors, officials have declared a Labrador retriever in Lindenwoods a dangerous dog. That designation sticks for life and comes with a number of conditions. CTV Sarah Plowman has those details. Snoopy the Shih Tzu Bichon is remembered as a loving pet. Coco, the black lab that killed Snoopy, will stay labeled as dangerous. He never hurt anyone before, never hurt any dog before. In June, Coco jumped his backyard fence in Lindenwoods and went after a two-year-old. An adult had to intervene. In August, he attacked and killed Snoopy, who was out for a walk with his owner. Coco also bit a person who tried to break up the dogs. That same month, the city declared Coco a dangerous dog. I just think he's not a dangerous dog. On Friday, one of Coco's owners pleaded for members of the Protection and Community Services Committee to change their minds, saying her dog has undergone behavioral training. Trainers testified Coco is obedient, but the committee didn't budge. The dog is obviously should not be in the community, period. That's what Snoopy's owner wants. An animal that is capable to kill another animal of its kind can kill anyone. The title, Dangerous Dog, comes with conditions. Its owners have to build a higher fence and place warning signs on each entrance in their home. Muzzled when the dog is out in public, has to be spayed and neutered, uh, has to be in a yard that keeps it confined. Um, insurance. Coco will stay in the neighborhood despite opposition. He's been labeled a dangerous dog since August, although the rules that come with that didn't have to be followed until now. Animal services say he has been neutered and they'll work closely with the family to ensure all other rules are followed. Sarah Plowman, CTV News, Winnipeg.